This is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. The voice of Israel and for Israel. I want to talk to you today about two traps waiting for Israel. Trap number one. There's a lot of talk about establishing a Palestinian state. There's already a Palestinian state. It's the area of Transjordan established by the British Mandate. Jordan is the original Palestinian state. Trap number one is land for peace. The real ploy behind the land for peace negotiation is to reduce Israeli real estate to the position where Israel would not have effective air operations response. This obviously would render only one result for Israel, a forced nuclear operation against Iran and other terrorist rogue nations, including Russia. Let me remind you that God's plan for the Middle East is, number one, to settle the Jews in Israel. Number two, to give Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, to Israel. Number three, to destroy Babylon totally. Listen to my podcast Thursday the 20th of March 2008 and Thursday 27th of March 2008 titled Babylon, the Enemy of Israel Exposed, Parts 1 and 2. You can scroll down in the Libsyn archives until you reach those. Number four, to judge Mount Seir and Edom. Number five, to make it evident to all nations that God has brought Israel back from the diaspora among the Goyim to Israel. Let me read for you Jeremiah chapter 16, verses 14 to 15. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord lives that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, or Mitzrayim. But the Lord lives that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. And then number six, to bring a spiritual awakening among Israeli people. Number seven, to make Jerusalem a cup of trembling to all nations. Land for peace is not God's plan for the Middle East. Land for peace is a trap to weaken and position Israel into a limited area where she will have no effect air response, defensive or offensive operations. This is a planned stratagem for the annihilation of the state of Israel. And any Israeli or other leader who defends such a plan should be marked as a traitor to the state of Israel. Not only that, but the land belongs to Israel. Number one, by promise from God to Abraham. And number two, by victory in war in 1967 and 1973. Now let's talk about trap number two. When the coming world leader appointed by the New World Order takes over, he will make a treaty, a covenant with Israel for seven years. Today, in addition to disease and famine issues, the leaders of the dominant nations are concerned with three primary factors. Number one, attaining peace among nations and ethnic groups. Number two, guaranteeing the flow of oil. And number three, stopping terrorism and conflict in the Middle East, especially between Israel and the Palestinians.
Again, the chief bargaining factor will be the city of Jerusalem. Trap number two is a seven-year treaty. What you should be watching for is leadership, a leader who will seemingly have the solution for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. This leader, appointed by the New World Order, will bring temporary peace and will convince the Jewish people to sign a seven-year treaty. Remember, the Bible warns us that when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction will come upon them. In exchange for agreeing to this treaty negotiation, Israel will be allowed to rebuild her temple on or near the Temple Mount. Then, after three and one-half years, or 42 months, the New World Order leader, the false Messiah, the false Mashiach, will do just what Antiochus Epiphanes did, who desecrated the Jewish temple at the time of the Maccabean Revolt. Read Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27, and Daniel chapter 11, verse 31 in the Tanakh. The New World leader will go into the new rebuilt temple and blaspheme God. Then he will declare that he is God. The 42 months which follow this event, the last half of the seven-year covenant, will prove to be the worst time of persecution the Jewish people have ever known, worse than they have experienced during the Holocaust under Nazi Germany. The seven-year treaty covenant will be a trap to bring about the subjugation, persecution, and total annihilation of the Jewish people. During the last half of the seven years, many Jews will flee to Petra, where they will be safe from the anti-Messiah, the coming world leader. God causes a supernatural geological happening to take place to protect them from an attempt of the new world leader to extinguish the Jews who have fled to Petra. In the next podcast, I'm going to tell you how and when Iran and Russia will be defeated upon the hills of Israel, and why Russia is cavorting with Iran and other Islamic nation states at this time. Israel is in a spiritual battle. Prince Hanley will tell you how to win the battle. There will be no peace until the Mashiach returns. However, you can have peace in your heart. Make sure that you know the real Messiah now and avoid the grasp of the new world leader, the false messiah, who is alive at this very time and hates the Jewish people. Pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Avraham, Yitzhak, the Yaakov. Ask him to reveal to you if Yeshua is really your Mashiach. If he does, then receive him into your life. Pray and ask him what he wants you to do. Read the Tanakh and the Brit Hadashah. Also, right now, there are 144,000 Jewish male prophets who have the call of God to prepare Israel for the return of Messiah Yeshua. There are 12,000 out of each of the 12 tribes of Israel. Don't worry, God knows which tribe you're from, even if you don't. God will give you a sign that you cannot deny concerning this call, this undertaking. Some already know they're called, some do not. You will begin to experience from the Lord providential circumstances, signs, and prophetic utterances that will confirm to you this calling from the Lord your God. Baruch Abba B'Shem Adonai.